All right, everyone, welcome to this video. I'm super excited for this one because I'm going to show you how to use one of the most powerful AI automation tools that I've ever seen. And I've been doing this stuff for six months. I've seen a lot of tools, but about two months ago, bot.new came out and I couldn't stop playing and experimenting with it ever since. Now, if you don't know what bot.new is, man, have you been living under a rock? Are you the guy from the SpongeBob series or something? This tool is crazy. It's super powerful. And just to give you a quick analogy before we dive into this, if bot.new was a real person and he was in your high school, he would be the kind of bully who has the tenacity to walk up to you while you're eating your little sandwich during lunchtime. And he will just snatch it from your hands, grab you by your boxers and hang you on the drawers for days. You're gonna be staying there for days crying, oh, my sandwich, bot took my sandwich from me but nobody is gonna be coming to your aid. Bot.new is the Chuck Norris of all AI automation tools. Forget about N8N and Make.com. All these tools are not a fart in the wind compared to Bot. This is a part of this tool. If Bot.new was a real person, bro, he would be walking up to you while you were with your high school sweetheart, grabbing hands, kissing, oh baby, I love you so much. And he will be just grabbing her tit and you wouldn't have the balls to do anything about it whatsoever. And this is the craziness of this tool. And let's dive into my computer here. Let's get serious for a second, all right? I know some of you guys, you said you like my jokes, so I'm just keep gonna keep them coming. But as you can see right here, Bolt is a platform that allows you to build full stack web applications without you needing to write a single line of code. And guys, we're no longer in this realm where AI replacing jobs is just this thing in a you know far-fetched dystopian future that exists in some sort of another world or another universe. No, this is real. This is taking place right now as we speak. So I suggest to you, you drop whatever it is that you're doing and you immerse yourself in the space of AI automations because this is about to get super crazy. Uh, so as you can see, this is the bot interface. Of course, you can go ahead and type bot.new and uh, you're gonna need to create an account and this is where you're gonna end up. Uh, you can also connect it to your GitHub account as well. Uh, but just to give you an idea, what I'm gonna be building today is an AI voice agent cost calculator that you can perhaps use in your own uh, business when you're doing outreach to people. Let's say you run an AI automations agency like I am and you can be sending this as some sort of a lead magnet to them so you can get their attention. And all you have to do is just give it the right prompt. So uh, I'm be I've been using this uh, custom GPT called Bolt Prompter because you have to be very eloquent and detailed with how you want your uh, Bolt to uh, output whatever result that you want it to, uh, to do for you or generate. Uh, so as you can see, my, I put a basic prompt here and then I ask this GPT to improve it and make it more appropriate. So build an AI voice agent calculator that makes or takes as inputs. One, how long a business owner spends on the phone daily. Two, how much money their hour is worth in dollars and calculates, calculates how much money and time they can earn back by automating that process with AI voice agents that automate reservations. Can you improve my prompt so I can use it in both? And this is the prompt that it came up with. So all I'm going to do is I'm, I'm just gonna drag this all the way up here and I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna paste it in here. And by the way, guys, when you're creating your own uh, bot account is going to give you a few thousand tokens for free, but they're not really good enough for anything. So you're, you might as well get on the, like the $20 a month plan. It's absolutely worth it. Um, and if you're a coder, bro, this is something that is going to help you expedite the entire process. As you can see, started writing code already. And for somebody like me, I don't know how to write a single line. So this will take ages for me, but I imagine for a very experienced software engineer or coder, you would also take a long time to come up with this entire, uh, you know, uh, you know, lines of code right here. So this is a coding section. And as you can see, the uh, bold agent is uh, already started developing my UI, my UX and everything. So let's go to the preview section right here and let's see what it came up with. Okay, so this is uh, good looking. 
Okay, so daily phone hours. Let's see this if this is functional or not. So if I put I spend six hours on the phone every day, for some reason, it's also adding a zero in front of it. And my hourly rate is $20 an hour. And then I, I work, let's say, uh, 30 days in a month. So it's going to save me 180 hours and three point six thousand dollars per year isn't that crazy man and you can also see here it's giving me some sort of a graph which i'm not exactly sure uh if this works or not or how it works let, let me just change something uh let's just put 45 here okay so the graph is not quite that functional um or i guess it is because it's actually increasing uh based on so every month, uh, the amount of savings, it goes up because I've been working for longer. Um, in any case, we can, uh, we can, of course, edit this and make changes to it. What I wanted to do now is I wanted to change the theme. So what I did right here is uh, I provided another prompt to the custom GPT, which says, perfect. Now on that prompt, can you also inc include some theme instructions? And uh, here is where I or uh, I came up with everything. So I'm just going to copy this theme section right here. I'm going to I'm going to uh, copy it and then I'm going to come here in bold and I'm going to paste it back in. And now we're going to run it again and it's going to change the theme. It's going to make it uh, something darker, purple and black, maybe some blue as well, uh, just so it looks much better. And uh, of course, it takes a few minutes to run, but let's see what it's going to come up with. And bro, you can already tell this is crazy, bro. Think of every single solution that you can build with this. And we're going to get even more crazy. So bear with me here because I'm going to show you how you can actually trigger webhooks using this. All you have to do is go to make and create a webhook and then copy, copy the URL, paste it here. Uh, it just makes too many hard things too easy and in a too short of a time frame it, it just completely blew my mind bro the first time i found out about this i was like bro are you fucking kidding me man this shouldn't be real this shouldn't exist this app should be illegal all right uh now let's uh let's wait for it and see so and another thing i wanted to uh, tell you about this guys is you can also deploy this and make it live and connect it with your own uh domain or whatever you want um but let's see what the outcome is. And you can see here modular structure, separated components. Come on, bro. This is this is good looking, man. Oh, here it is. So month one, month two, month three. This is the uh, the cost savings, $25,000 per year. So the chart is functional indeed. Uh, you can also prompt it to add a logo here. You can just give it your own logo and it's going to go ahead and add it. Um, what I want to do now, man, is... I wanted to add some sort of a call to action button at the end of the page. So when people click it, they are redirected to my booking form so they can book in an appointment with me. And this is something you can also embed. Uh, but just for this uh, example's sake, I'm just going to be using the link directly. So I'm going to say at the end of this page, add a call to action button that says, and then the text on it, is going to be something like, uh, let's just think, man. Okay, so build an AI voice agent for your business. And then I'm going to say, when people click that button, direct them to this URL. And as that URL, I'm going to go here on my calendar. I'm just going to copy the URL, have people... Uh, who want to hire my agency book calls uh, with and then I'm going to paste it right here and boom. Uh, so what it's going to do now is going to add that. Uh, and by the way, guys, if you've been following my content or even if you're new to my channel, you're enjoying my stuff, go ahead, join my school community. It's completely free. You get access to all the automation templates uh, that I build for uh, the content I'm making as well as uh, different client automations. You get access to a community of people you can network with. We are already at 866 members. I started this about a month and a half ago, give or take. So this community is growing, has a lot of activity. You can see people posted uh, today. Uh, so make sure you go ahead and join it. And if you need help with anything, let me know. I'm going to help you out in that 
uh, community. So let's go back to Bolt. Uh, okay, so here is a button and you can see, bro, it just added some like pop-up design to it. But now when I click it, I get redirected to this booking page right here, which is the booking page that I use for my agency. It's crazy stuff, man. And you can go bold with it. You can build whatever you can think of. I mean, this is already too powerful. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add, add a contact form. And when someone submits it, uh, trigger this webhook. And then I'm also going to give it a webhook as well. So I come here and make, and I just copy this. I'm gonna have it running so we can test it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and paste it right here. Boom. And let's see what happens. It's gonna take a little bit of time to get it done. By the way, by now, if you're if you were on the free plan, you would have probably run out of credits or something or tokens. So let's see. Uh, guys, I want you to write down in the comments some ideas that you have about uh, using this tool and what you can envision it do for you, what kind of use cases you can think of. And I think where the real power of automations lie and all the automation tools is when you combine them with each other. For example, you can use both to build a super clean and good looking interface or UI for your make.com automations, right? Or your AI agent. So this is the contact form right here. So I'm just gonna say test, and then I'm going to paste it everywhere. So I'm going to test right here, and then test. And then I'm also gonna say test right here, and then test right here. Now I'm gonna send a message. Oh, this one needs to be an actual real email. I didn't know that. So I'm gonna say gmail.com. And now let's click send message. Thank you, and boom. It just triggered this, uh, this workflow, this makes an hour like was nothing, bro. Uh, so this is crazy stuff, guys. This is crazy stuff. Uh, I'm, I'm too excited for this shit, bro. I'm about to come, bro. Like this is the level of excitement that I get from using all these uh, AI tools. And um, listen, for all you guys who are super experienced in coding, how long will it take you to build something like this? Now, what if I go ahead and add another automation calculator uh, and I say, okay, now add me another AI automation calculator that does the same thing, but instead of AI voice agents, now for a chatbot. Now let's see what it's gonna come up with. Let's see, let's just wait for this, give it a couple of seconds um but uh yeah guys you can you can if you have like some interesting use cases in mind i'm definitely interested to uh hear out your thoughts because there's so many ways i can integrate this in my own agency and i uh, hope my clients benefit from this but uh let's see what it's going to come up with all right so this is still running as you can see uh so the code is changing but uh, yeah, by the way, I'm wondering, where am I going to put my face? Should I put it down here in the corner or maybe up here on the left? I'll figure it out, man. I don't worry about it. So, okay. And uh, another interesting thing about this tool, guys, is that whenever it runs into any errors, which are basically errors it creates itself, it knows how to solve them. So it's going to give you a notification. Oh, I ran into a problem that I created myself. Hey, just click here so I can fix it. And it fixes that for you. Bro, this is this is not real, man. Look at this. Voice agent, chatbot. Uh, it's just crazy, guys. It's just freaking crazy, man. Um, guys, if you want this template right here, I'm going to see if there's a way I can leave it on my uh, school classroom right here. So in the classroom section, I'm going to leave it in the automation templates. If I can download uh, this code or, uh, you know, this file or whatever, but, uh, yeah, man, I mean, I'm, I'm speechless, bro. If you enjoyed this video, leave me a like, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in another one. I love you, bro. Thanks.